College of Charleston. It's really nice to just be here and have the whole summer to just focus on what I want to do for my future. So it's definitely shown me that you know, this is what I definitely want to spend my life doing. College of Charleston is, and the Grice Laboratory has taken the lead on a program um, in which students from around the country apply. This past year we had 137 applicants and we had only eight positions that were available. Uh, so obviously it's a very highly select group. They spend 10 weeks in a laboratory with a mentor um, doing an independent research project. I'm working on the effects of demilic acid on different cell lines and um, we just ran some microarrays on exposed cells and we're going to see um, the effects of genomic acid on the gene expression of the cells. I'm working with Jax Tulio and Tyler Cernak with phytoplankton that they obtained off the coast of the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic. And um, we're trying to identify several species that we sorted with a flow cytometer. A big issue now is global warming, obviously, and um, these algae excrete DMSP. When it's excreted into the atmosphere, it um, essentially causes clouds to form, which can you know, counterbalance the global warming effect. This summer, I'm working in the Burnett lab on the effects of hypoxia on the heart rate of blue crabs. There is evidence showing that as um, global temperatures are getting warmer, the um, rate of hypoxic events is increasing, and especially as blue crabs are both a financial, economic, commercial importance on a lot of coastal states, it's really important to see how um, these events are affecting them physiologically. They have to put together a proposal, they have to, to explain what it is they want to do, they have to conduct the research, analyze the data, and then they have to give a, a oral presentation of their results. There's like five programs associated with um, the Fort Johnson here. So just like meeting DNR people or NIST people, yeah. just lots of different backgrounds all together in the same spot. Something like 75% of them go on to um, advanced degrees in science-related fields. So we think it's been very successful.